Pleased to welcome today on Halton News, Minister Karina Gould. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Well, thanks for doing this today. And I know you've been extremely busy because it was just a couple weeks ago you announced legislation for the long-awaited $10 a day daycare program. What feedback have you received over the past couple weeks? Oh my goodness, I have heard from parents right across this country about how meaningful these fee reductions are. I've heard from moms who have decided to go back to work because they can now afford uh, to go to work full time and pay for childcare. I've heard from parents uh, who've said that for you know this year, they'll now be able to buy Christmas presents because of these fee reductions. Um, I've heard from parents who say, you know, this means that when they go to the grocery store, they aren't at kind of price checking everything that they're buying and they're not making really difficult choices for their families. Um, yeah, I, I have just been filled with stories from coast to coast to coast about how this is making such a huge impact on people's lives. It's great that it's finally here and you know it's been so um, highly anticipated by so many families out there so it's great that it's gotten done now just recently though i'm curious as a follow up to this, can you tell me about the 213 million dollar provincial grant program for childcare operators to create new spaces. Yeah, so that's part of the federal transfer, right? So we sent the province uh, $10.2 billion. That's the agreement that we signed. And of that 10.2, they're taking $213 million to help grow the number of spaces. So they committed to a few things when they signed the agreement with us last March. One was to reduce fees by 50% by the end of this year, and they're on track to do that. So as of January 1st, fees are reduced by 50% uh, for uh, families with children in licensed care. They've also committed to grow the number of spaces in Ontario by 86,000. And so that $213 million is really there to help both existing providers, but also um, new providers expand the number of spaces uh, that are available because it's one thing to have lower child care fees, but we need to make sure that all families who want access to that can have access. Yeah, the kids actually have to have a place to go before we can implement the amount of money being spent for it. So that's more great news. Uh, let's let the great news continue here, because as I said at the beginning, you've been very busy. Uh, tens of thousands of families have applied for the new child dental benefit since it was announced at the beginning of the month. Uh, yeah. Is this at all surprising for you with the quick uptake on this? You know, I have to say that it's been so amazing to see. It's about 100,000 families that have applied already. For the Canada Dental Benefit, you know, we estimate there are about 500,000 children in Canada that could benefit from this who previously didn't have access to dental care. Um, so I think it's really encouraging to see that families are taking this on and uh, getting their kids to the dentist. And we know how important that is for preventative met for pre preventative health care, uh, for future development, um, and really ensuring to keep kids out of the emergency room because when kids don't have access to Kind of routine oral hygiene they end up getting you know they, those dental conditions get really bad and then they go to the emerge for it and then it's a much more complex need than what routine oral hygiene would be so um i mean am i surprised by the high uptick um you know i mean i'm glad it's happening so fast but i know there's a need out there as well yeah, definitely. So uh, just one of the many needs. And now, you know, that's a couple items where we're looking back, but let's look forward here. You know, inflation has been a huge buzzword for 2022, but looking ahead to 2023, do you have examples of ways in which the federal government is hoping to assist to aid citizens to, you know, throughout the continued rising cost of living? Yeah. So, I mean, look, inflation has hit Canadians and people here in Burlington hard. I mean, nobody is immune from this. I mean, I know that when I go to the grocery store, I'm shocked uh, by how much things cost these days. Um, and of course, you know, with the high gas prices, which have been falling, um, you know, over the past couple of months, and that's going to help, um, you know, bring inflation down. And we've seen inflation kind of level off and we're hoping that it will continue to decrease. Um, but one of the measures that we've put in place that, you know, really kind of helps um, everyone in Canada, no matter what your age is, is we've doubled the GST uh, tax credit uh, for six months. And so, you know, people are getting that back, which is helping, you know, each month um, with the high cost of living. And then what we've also done is we've increased the Canada workers benefit. So this is for lower income earners. Uh, they get a top up. Um, instead of doing it at the end of the year, we're now doing it quarterly uh, to help with that as well. 
And then of course, we're going to continue with the climate action incentives. And again, instead of doing that yearly, we're now doing that quarterly. So people can see it on a more regular basis. But of course, we're gonna watch really carefully what happens um, over the coming months. You know, For the GST tax credit, we did this for a period of six months to kind of see you know, what, what's going on in the global economy, how Canada is being impacted. And you know, we have a fine kind of edge to walk in the sense that we want to make sure that we're supporting and helping the most vulnerable without um, putting in measures that would be inflationary. So we have this kind of really delicate balance to, to walk, but we're watching things very closely and always looking for ways that we can um, help Canadians with a high cost of living. Well, we, of course, are going to be checking back with you in 2023. But for now, I enjoy your break. Hopefully you do get one and we'll see you in the new year. Thanks. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone. 